Thank you, Mr. President, dear members. We are getting late in the day, but uh, I'll try to be short, but some things have to be said here. So uh, we chose a very ambitious uh, theme for this annual session, uh, the sustainable uh, development goals of the UN and how they are interlinked to security. I think this was a, a very uh, risky and ambitious uh, exercise and the risk of uh, making very ambitious goals is that sometimes you do not live up to your ambitions. But uh, I think the declaration that we've just approved is uh, a living document that uh, uh, testifies to the fact that we've actually lived to that ambitions. You have elaborated on issues of uh, uh, terrorism, migration, uh, uh, human trafficking, energy security. I think you have uh, provided uh, uh, good uh, thought, uh, food for thoughts for the ministers who are meeting this afternoon and uh, tomorrow in Slovakia. Uh, myself, uh, with the president uh, of the OSC Parliamentary Assembly, whoever he or she will be, we will find out uh, in uh, the next uh, point uh, item on the agenda, will now, in half an hour, fly to Slovakia to meet the uh, foreign ministers of the OSC and to also present the work of uh, this assembly. Uh, I have an appeal to the members. Uh, um, I know that uh, back at home, uh, you are always constrained by the electoral cycle. You are constrained by, of course, uh, the popularity that you need to have in order to be re-elected next time. So uh, sometimes we are constrained by the electoral cycle. Nowadays, with new technologies, we are constrained by uh, the next tweet or the next poll. So sometimes uh, when we uh, elaborate policies, we think on how will that impact uh, in uh, my constituency and whether it will give me the chance to be re-elected tomorrow. But in this assembly, we do not have that uh, stress. I think, of course, in this assembly, you come with your own domestic agendas and you try to, uh, of course, bring up issues that will give you some visibility back at home. But I would really like to appeal to members uh, to look at the challenges we have in front of us. We have the challenges of the movement of people, the challenges of fighting uh, terrorism, the challenges of climate change. We were in Norway. We have really seen uh, what that means. Uh, these challenges, preventing conflict, uh, conflict resolutions, uh, require a long-term perspective, require policies and analysis that have a long-term perspective. And so you can do this here. I think you can do both. You can look at the domestic agenda and bring forward ideas that will give you also the visibility that you deserve back at home, but also try to use this assembly now and in the future also to bring this more uh, wider perspective in our elaborations. Uh, the minister of, uh, uh, the prime minister of Luxembourg made a fantastic and I think very emotional speech when he spoke at the opening of this plenary session. He talked about the issue of inclusion. I think this is uh, uh, an issue that in this parliamentary assembly we know very well. This is what we do here. We include everybody. You've seen today is, of course, we have big disagreements, but everybody's in the room. We express our disagreement, but we include everybody. So I appreciate uh, the uh, work that you've done in these uh, days. I congratulate you on this. Of course, uh, I appreciate uh, that uh, the Standing Committee and the Bureau before in April renewed my mandate. I think it's a, a nice testimony for the work that we do as the International Secretariat. So I'd like to also thank all my colleagues in the International Secretariat, those who are here, those who are behind the scenes who have organized this assembly and have made a huge effort. Now, uh, I would like to um, ask uh, and plead to you to leave your mobile phones, leave your pens, uh, free your hands, uh, because I will need you to use your hands to make uh, some signs of appreciation. Uh, three signs of appreciation. Uh, le premier, le premier signe d'appréciation, c'est pour nos autres, pour la délégation et la, le Parlement du Luxembourg. Vous avez fait un fantastique travail. Vous nous avez donné une grande organisation, une grande hospitalité et même quelques surprises. La, la, la fête d'hier soir, pour quelqu'un de nous, était une grande surprise. On a pensé que... Moi, j'ai toujours parlé de, de, la, de la rénovation de, de l'Assemblée, de rendre l'Assemblée la, la, un peu plus moderne. Je ne croyais pas qu'on pouvait devenir si moderne comme la fête que vous avez organisée hier soir après la, la fête officielle. Donc. Merci beaucoup pour uh, votre organisation. Merci Rita et tout, tout le staff qui a travaillé à cette organisation. Vous avez fait un grand travail.
Un deuxième mot d'appréciation, c'est pour les interprètes. Vous êtes resté là encore 15 minutes. Je vous remercie pour que vous êtes resté avec nos petits retards. Mais vous faites un grand travail. Et le... c'est un remerciement, pas du secrétaire général aux interprètes, mais c'est de collègue à collègue. Merci beaucoup. E l'ultimo punto, signor Presidente, se mi consente, lo faccio in italiano perché la persona di cui sto per parlare capisce l'italiano, quindi purtroppo non parlo il portoghese, avrei fatto in portoghese l'intervento. Uh, una parola di ringraziamento a un membro dell'Assemblea parlamentare, un'icona dell'Assemblea parlamentare, dovrei dire, che ci lascia, che ci ha lasciato uh, un, un mese fa e è diventato un membro del Parlamento europeo, la signora Isabel Santos, che è qui con noi. Isabel Santos... Ha già iniziato il suo mandato. Ci sarà tempo per, i, per gli applausi. È il primo, è il primo, ce ne sono altri. Isabel Santos ha appena iniziato il suo mandato come eh, parlamentare europea eh, in rappresentanza del Portogallo, ma da noi ha lavorato come capo del Comitato della Terza Dimensione dei Diritti Umani, è stato, capo, eh, è stato vicepresidente della nostra Assemblea, è stato a capo di numerose eh, eh, monitoraggi elettorali è stata a capo del monitoraggio elettorale negli Stati Uniti, per esempio, e ha fatto delle visite, diciamo, anche storiche, è stata a Guantanamo, è stata a Lampedusa, è stata tu nei, in tutti i confini dell'OSCE, eh, guardando sempre agli aspetti dei diritti umani, non guardando solo in una direzione, ma guardando in tutto lo spettro dell'Assemblea uh, dell parlamentare. Questo credo che sia una grande qualità, Isabella, cioè guardare eh, ai valori dell'OSCE non classicamente a est di Vienna, ma guardando a tutto lo spettro della ragione OSCE e credo che quello che tu hai fatto per l'Assemblea rimane qualcosa nella nostra storia e ho un piccolo pensiero per te se vuoi venire sul palco e dire due parole. Grazie Isabella. I wrote uh, a speech for this moment, but uh, as all beautiful speech are um, pieces of memories, and I, I'm not going to read, I only want to say, because I, I know we are <laughs> very later, I only want to say to you that uh, you will remind in deeply of, in deep of my heart. It was a great pleasure, it was a great honor to serve this institution, serve OSCPA with all of you during these eight years of my political life. It was a good school and uh, OSCPA uh, is always a good school for politicians that embrace different challenges in different scenarios. So I wish you all the best when I look to this room and I see familiar faces. I remember very challenging but also very beautiful moments, very emotional moments in my life. And uh, please, when you go to Portugal or when you go to Brussels, remember me, call me, you will have a Portuguese woman with open arms waiting for you. I wish you all the best, all the best. Thank you, Isabel. Oh. Mm -hmm. okay. and, and so this is the past and this is the future. Yes, the best is yet to come for all of us. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Isabel. So this basically concludes 
my statement. Uh, I thank you all members for a great annual sessions, and uh, I wish you all a great summer break. Uh, see you all in Marrakesh. Of course, if there are questions to my report, but I think we are running out of time. But if you have any questions, please, I'm here at your service. Thank you.